Welcome to the world of Here's Lucy, a classic TV series that left an indelible mark on the small screen during its run from 1968 to 1974. As you delve into the comedic escapades of Lucy Carter, played by the iconic Lucille Ball, and her misadventures with her family and friends, you might find yourself pondering, is there a particular scene or moment in this TV series that has had a lasting impact on you? Do you have a cherished memory associated with Here's Lucy? Before we dive into your personal connections, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Created by Bob O'Brien and Milt Josephsberg, Here's Lucy showcased Ball's comedic genius in a new light, portraying Lucy Carter, a widow with two children, who works for her brother-in-law at his employment agency. The series was a blend of humor, family dynamics, and Lucy's signature physical comedy. Now, back to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Here's Lucy? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your connection to this timeless TV series, and let's celebrate the enduring impact it has had on viewers like you. Here's Lucy, a classic TV series that aired from 1968 to 1974, emerged as a spin-off from the beloved Lucy franchise, following the iconic Lucille Ball in her third major television role. The show showcased Lucy Carter, a widowed mother of two played by Ball, who navigates the challenges of single parenthood while working at her brother-in-law Harry's employment agency. The series was characterized by Lucy's comical misadventures, often fueled by her penchant for getting into amusing and unpredictable situations. The dynamic between Lucy and her psychic Vivian Bagley, portrayed by Vivian Vance, added a layer of humor and camaraderie to the show. Notably, Here's Lucy continued the tradition of physical comedy that Lucille Ball was renowned for, blending slapstick humor with witty dialogue. The series not only solidified Lucille Ball's status as a television icon, but also left an indelible mark on popular culture, contributing to the enduring legacy of the Lucy character and shaping the landscape of sitcoms for years to come. Its impact is evident in the continued appreciation for classic comedy and the timeless appeal of Lucille Ball's comedic genius, making Here's Lucy a cornerstone in the history of television. In 1973, a pivotal moment marked the trajectory of the iconic TV series Here's Lucy. Despite its earlier success, the show faced a downturn when it dropped out of the top 10 rankings. Lucy, portrayed by Lucille Ball, encountered a challenge when a CBS executive suggested making the show trendier, aligning with the likes of popular shows such as Maude or The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Unfazed, Lucy promptly called CBS CEO Bill Paley to intervene leading to the executive's swift exit. Although CBS convinced Ball to extend the series for one more season, after the conclusion of season six, she ultimately decided to bring Here's Lucy to an end. This turning point not only reflects the dynamic landscape of television in the 1970s, but also underscores Lucille Ball's unwavering commitment to her iconic character. The series' journey from the highs of its initial success to the decision to conclude it provides a fascinating glimpse into the behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped Here's Lucy's legacy. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a competing show to The Lucy Show, and Here's Lucy took jabs at their rivals, bidding Lucy farewell with a humorous salute. Lucy, in response, questioned the humor in it. Ironically, Lucille Ball had the last laugh. Rowan and Martin's laugh and met its end in 1973, a year before Here's Lucy faced its own cancellation. This rivalry, marked by comedic banter, reveals the competitive landscape of 1968 television. The laughs might have echoed, but Lucy's show stood the test of time, leaving an enduring mark on the history of television. Ginger Rogers, the acclaimed actress and friend of Lucille Ball, made a memorable appearance on the iconic TV series Here's Lucy. In a unique twist, Lucy invited Rogers to guest star as a celebrity Lucy was stalking, drawing from their real-life connection. The two had first met at the school run by Ginger's mother, Lella Rogers, a renowned institution for aspiring actresses, where both Lucy and Ginger attended in their early 20s. This collaboration added a fascinating layer to Here's Lucy, showcasing the blend of real-life friendships and comedic storytelling. Interestingly, Desiderio Alberto Arnaz IV, known for his role on Here's Lucy, made a guest appearance on The Brady Bunch in Season 1, Episode 22, titled The Possible Dream. This crossover moment offers a glimpse into the interconnected world of television during that era. 
notably during the 1970 to 1971 season. Here's Lucy secured its position as the number one television show on CBS. This achievement underscored the series' widespread popularity and solidified its impact on the television landscape. These intriguing facets of Here's Lucy, from the guest appearance of Ginger Rogers to crossover moments with other shows, and its impressive ratings, provide a rich tapestry of the show's legacy. Each element contributes to the understanding of Here's Lucy as a dynamic and influential presence in the world of television during the late 1960s and early 1970s. Lucil Ball faced a critical juncture in the fifth season of Here's Lucy. Just before the season began, she broke her leg, sparking concerns about the show's future. However, the series pressed on with an unexpected twist Lucy performed with a leg cast for a part of the season, demonstrating her commitment to the iconic character. The origins of Here's Lucy trace back to a strategic move in 1968. Lucille Ball, riding on the success of The Lucy Show, which had run for six seasons, sold the DeZillu studio that year. To retain ownership of her series, she halted production on The Lucy Show and launched Here's Lucy. While the new series featured a slightly different plot and character names, it retained the familiar cast and time slot, solidifying Lucille Ball's control over her television legacy. A lesser known aspect of Here's Lucy lies in its fourth season finale, titled Kim Finally Cuts You Know Who's Apron Strings. Serving as a pilot for a spin-off starring Lucy Desire Arnaz, it never saw the light of day, offering a glimpse into the show's creative experimentation. These pivotal moments, from Lucille Ball's resilience during an unexpected injury to the strategic maneuver that birthed Here's Lucy, paint a nuanced picture of the show's evolution and the behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped its legacy. Each twist and turn in the show's narrative reflects the dynamic landscape of television during this era, showcasing Lucille Ball's unwavering dedication to her iconic character and the series she brought to life. The inaugural season of Here's Lucy marked a collaboration with Paramount Television for co-production. This partnership signaled a strategic move for Lucille Ball, leveraging the backing of a major studio. As the series progressed, a pivotal moment in its fifth season saw a significant shift in its Nielsen ratings. For the first time in Lucille Ball's career, the show dropped out of the top ten. This prompted Ball's inclination to conclude the series, leading to the filming of a final episode. However, CBS intervened, persuading Ball to extend for one more season, showcasing the network's influence on the fate of the iconic show. The interplay between strategic decisions and viewership dynamics paints a compelling picture of the evolution of Here's Lucy during its formative years. As we bid adieu to the vibrant world of Here's Lucy, let the echoes of laughter and warmth linger in your memories. This timeless 1968 TV series brought us Lucy's indomitable spirit, her comedic genius, and a kaleidoscope of moments that stitched joy into the fabric of our lives. As you reflect on the tapestry of Here's Lucy, delve into the reservoir of your own personal connection with the show. Perhaps it's the infectious charm of Lucille Ball or the quirky escapades that mirrored the absurdity of our own lives. Maybe it's the slapstick comedy or the heartwarming family dynamics that drew you in. Whatever the essence, Here's Lucy became more than a show. It became a companion in our journey through the years. Now, it's your turn to share. Unearth your cherished memories, the moments that made you laugh until tears welled up or the scenes that tugged at your heartstrings. Whether it's a favorite episode, a character you resonated with, or a punchline that has stayed with you, your Here's Lucy story is a thread in the grand tapestry of collective nostalgia. Reach out to us and let the anecdotes flow. Share your reflections on social media in the comments below or with friends over a cup of coffee. Let's celebrate the enduring magic of Here's Lucy together. Thank you for joining us on this journey down memory lane. Your time and interest add depth to the narrative of Here's Lucy, making it a living, breathing testament to the power of storytelling. Keep those memories alive, and here's to the laughter that transcends time.